The following podcast may contain explicit language and offensive material. And no, nothing matters anymore. Help us. Help us, Canada. Welcome to the Bies de Resistance bonus episode number 18, featuring Lisa Graham and Dale Leopold, and also featuring outtakes from our most recent episode, Race to the Bottom. We now join this episode already in progress. So I will just be a vaporized person all the time. Yeah. It sounds like an Avengers Endgame spoiler, but we won't do that. Um, ah. So... All right, Thank well, why don't, we get, why don't we get rolling? I am trying we, to... You couldn't spoil in-game for me because I have not seen much of the... Any, right. My darling so, husband... Yes. ...has decided that uh, we should view all of them mm-hmm. in preparation for mm-hmm. seeing the in-game one. And he wants to do it chronologically according to a list he found on the interwebs. Fine. Uh-huh. But he... what? But he's already he's checking off the ones we've already seen, no matter when. So now it's just like I'm like, why the fuck am I watching Thor Ragnarok? No, I'm sorry, right. Thor Dead World or whatever that was. Right, right, I, right. I had no no idea what was going on. Right, I, and yeah, and these little side characters that no one but long, long, long time readers of of comics will get all. I know, I know. Excited I, about Winter Soldier. Yeah. I'm like, is that black guy the guy who later he gets wings? He's what the bumblebee right. bird? I don't know. What is he? <laughs> right, the Falcon. You see? Yes. Mm-hmm. See? Right, right. But it gets a little. Yeah, you need a scorecard, <sighs> especially on the Avengers ones where they just like you know send everybody from like three different I movie know. franchises and four actually more than that. Exactly, and I I mean I do like Black Widow, so I'm happy mm-hmm. about that. Um, but I am, I must share my fun fact with you. Speaking yes. of chicks who fight, <laughs> Maisie. Should I put young, the porn music on? <laughs> yes, chicks who okay. fight. No, that's kind of inappropriate, although she is an adult. Maisie, what's okay. her face? Williams? Yes, Maisie uh, Williams. Uh-huh. Yes, Aria. Badass. Yes. Brilliant sword work. I have not seen Game of Thrones finale, but that's okay. I know what happened because Nick the intern fills me in, and mm-hmm. I will watch it when I can handle that much violence, and mm-hmm. the child is, you know, at camp. We'll, right. We'll binge through the whole thing again. I've been unable to watch it since the first season. I was heavily pregnant, and when they lopped off Ned Stark's head, which mm-hmm. I knew was coming because I had read the books, I was right. so horrified that I couldn't take any more, and I was too pregnant to be argued with. And that's... And so... it, and it, it got more horrifying... Oh, I know. Certainly, arguably. Certainly. Again, okay. I've read the books. But <laughs> yes, right, right, right. <laughs> so I know how horrifying it was. They were horrifying. <laughs> yes. But, but yeah, so in, but back to uh, women who fight. Young Maisie Williams. Yes. Is not, in real life, left-handed. But she's been sword fighting left-handed the entire fucking time because mm-hmm. the books hinted that <laughs> Arya was left-handed. Commitment. What a fucking choice. You, I mean... Very much commitment there. For eight years, she's been fighting with the wrong damn hand. She's had to. She's like Inigo Montoya. But I know something you do not know. I I am am not not left-handed. Not (laughs) left-handed. Yes. Yes. Well, well, neither am I. Fun, fun fact. uh, I'm impressed. uh, That, that is very impressive indeed. And bringing up Inigo Montoya. I can't pick my nose with my left hand, much less sword fight with it. (laughs) When I had the recent surgery on my thumb, I had to do a lot of things left-handed that I had not known that I could do, but you know, yes. you figure it out eventually. I bet wiping your butt was a challenge and, the first time, wasn't it? You know, uh, quite honestly, uh, it was, um, yes. And uh, also <laughs> editing a podcast. Uh, that was even, that was even tougher. Yes. Well, I tried, but it was not going to happen. <laughs> you well, probably funny. weren't crying. I was crying. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. Why didn't we yeah. ask Chris? I don't know. I don't either. That was dumb. We'll do that next time if we have to. But by then, mm-hmm. I'll be a whiz because I'm editing these two voices. Yes, you for are. For practice. And you're putting one on one side and one on the other. It's great. Look, high speed right yeah. there. I know. I'm an engineering and, uh, genius. And, and I have not begun to edit the outtakes from our most recent episode, uh, but let's pretend that I did. And here they are right now. Ta-da! I'm going to go ahead and start recording because... There's funny shit going on. Right. I don't know this scene. Exciting. 
I think we're on line 31. I got your script right here. I want you to hold it between your knees. I was acting. I don't remember what it is we were doing. It didn't take long for her to make her presence felt in the... <laughs> almost got through it. Almost got through it. Uh, all right, let's do this thing here. Transition, 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 transition. Here okay. comes Nancy, here comes Nancy. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Nancy, can can we do a stand-up show that's really nasty, you and me together, like a tour? <laughs> yes, because I'm living that nasty life right now, Lisa. Look, if you can work in a set of midget strippers wrestling, I will book tickets now. <laughs> <laughs> we got some outtakes already. Da -da 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 -da. In the couch is a way to say indica, which is the marijuana that makes one have to sit on the couch and watch primetime TV. Yeah, you know, I love you. I love me some Martha. You know what I'm saying? She's got all this shit right now tight. You know what I'm saying? You're my favorite. I take care of you, Snoop. <laughs> well, we just got to turn off a little bit of these cameras so we can get a little more talking on. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I quite agree, Snoop. And if you make it rain, woot. <laughs> what? Oh, yes. My girls on the inside love you. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yes, batch. No, no, it's because of the helpless laughter and wisecracks. <laughs> yes, mother, yes. Call me mother. Call me father. Call me anything. Just call me. Oh, it's getting hot in here, that's why. I am the most sterile that, that there is. My lady parts just went cold. Oh, my God. Oh, it's Christmas time in Hollis, Queens. <laughs> Hello. Well, blorp, blorp, gizmo, gizmo. You've been walking and saying Conway all day. Oh, I said it. I'm Shit, sorry. Shit, everything is binking at me. What you the can see me? Can you see my bobo? Look. <laughs> <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds like privilege to me. <laughs> Thunder is out there. He's barking like crazy and he goes oh, in the middle. <laughs> Emperor Donaldus, I present the plan for the new Visigoth Wall. <laughs> we will never be able to do this live on stage. It will take like 14 hours. Yes. <laughs> it's all kinds of dirty. Oh. Well, for those listening at home, Lori just said, up yours. Lori's the anesthesiologist, and, and uh, Chris is the gastroenterologist. <laughs> it's elementary, my dear Watson. <clears throat> Doctor, do you have the latex gloves? Or, oh, uh, Mr. President, are you allergic to latex? I believe you might be. This is going down a road I just never thought it would. Really? Oh, no. We saw this in Ep 1. We have seen this coming at least three times in this part alone. Dale and I had one phone conversation. We were like, butt plug for Trump, incest, <gasps> make the pences have some sex, <gasps> and oh, con oh. yeah, that, We planned this. I ain't good girl, girl ain't no got freaky here. Whoo. <laughs> we just went all in this time. Ass jokes. Scatalog. What is it with Dale? The thumb drive up the butt and the bunny Ooh. stew and the, oh my God. And Maxie Waters too? <laughs> mm, this is, mm. Knuckle-brained fart lozenge. That was so beautiful. That's a, that's a Scott, hey, Google Scottish Trump insults. There it goes. I love the Scots so much. I mean, there's no reason to make up new ones when they've done it to perfection. Hey, you know, you got to go for realism. <laughs> Otherwise, it's not funny. Oh, verisimilitude, thy name is Dale. And a knuckle-brained fart lozenge. You just head north and a bit east and you get there. No problem. Talk about your childhood wishes. How could you have any sweets until you finish the china? Wasn't that a song by NXS? Je te do. Shut the door. Keep out the devil. Shut the door. Keep out yourself. I've thrown away the thing that goes to the thing that makes the keyboard in the booth work because I threw away the mouse and I got carried <gasps> away. How exciting. Tell me again about dongles. Dongles? But do it in a deep voice. Really, really deep. <laughs> dongle is important. <laughs> Put the dongle in the port, baby. It's a little goaty in here. George, you're so full of good information. Don't try this at home, wink. Oh, you dink? <laughs> it makes us so happy. It's the Russian writer's room. Da, da, da. Okay. When has Russia been so business? I don't understand. I'm just wild about Putin. And he's just wild about me. Spasibo, Svetlana. Yes. Oh, spasibo, Svetlana. Right, tomato, tomato, <laughs> in terms of outcomes there. 
Spetsnäs! Spetsnäs! Do not lose hope, comrades. Sun will come out tomorrow! Better buy some rubber to call me your Kenny! <laughs> My favorite! <laughs> Now it's time for e-learning. Look, the laundry's not going to do itself, guys. Let's go. Go back to your miserable lives. <laughs> Voice over. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my mom is so proud. Oh, my gosh. That's Hilarious so funny. Stuff. Who that was knew? the best episode. Lori. Yeah, I know. I know. Nancy has such a potty mouth. She does. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so we can say that about pretty much any episode uh, taping, I think. And, that's true. Yeah. Laurie and Karen laughing hysterically. Uh huh. That and public is... shout out of thank you to Nancy for my fu earrings. Oh yes. She <laughs> sent me Scrabble tiles, the, one Scrabble for each year, earrings. or UF, I guess. I don't know. God, uh, we had a we had a Scrabble wedding cake actually. Um, that's dedication. That, it is. It is. <laughs> well, yeah, Nora, my wife, Nora, uh, has always been into puzzles and, you know, jigsaw puzzles, crosswords, uh, Scrabble, etc. And that was one of the things we would do on trips and that kind of thing. And we always do the Sunday New York Times crossword puzzle on the iPad. You know, she'll start it. <laughs> And she'll, and then I'll come in and I'll do like, I'll fix the misspellings because I'm, I'm a better speller, frankly. She's going to hear this. She'll get, I know, she'll get the right answers, but she, there'll be some. Nora, it was him a couple and of not errors. me. That, I think all. you are a fantastic a speller. You are the best speller I've ever known. And I know your husband, <laughs> the one in the doghouse, for publicly knocking your spelling ability. <laughs> hey, girl she's Girl power, about, Nora, girl power. Nora is about to graduate from college high school what uh, <laughs> she's getting her bachelor of Inter interdisciplinary studies degree uh next uh -oh. week actually from vcu um yes the 41 year plan Congrats. she she is just thrilled and i'm thrilled for her it's awesome that's awesome yeah nice um, so anyway scrabble. we're talking about scrabble yeah so the the wedding invitation had a crossword puzzle Nice. Um, and the, the birthday cake had uh, Wait, Scrabble tiles. Cake. and I mean, the wedding cake, sorry. The wedding cake had Scrabble tile, real Scrabble tiles sort of overspilling the cake. And then, mm -hmm. you know, edible ones on the cake itself. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm not sure if it spelled out anything. I think it did. I don't have to look at the pictures. Um, Ours but, was seashells. It didn't spell anything. Were they edible but seashells? Did, yes, they were. They were good, chocolate. Good. Did result in me having to make like 300 uh, white chocolate seashells because I'm stupid and said, oh, I can do that. I'll save some money. Oh. <laughs> so that was like the week before the wedding? Or... Oh, yeah. Yes, absolutely. That's all I did was pour chocolate into molds. Dump chocolate out of molds. Pour chocolate into molds. Mm -mm -mm. I know. I know. The Dedication. things we do, I must learn to look before I leap. Just leaping around everywhere. Yeah, like, you know, starting podcasts and things like that. I mean, it's like getting an intern. Getting an intern. <laughs> Why not? You know, dreadlocking your hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, um, I'll get back to you on that one. Mm hmm. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> I Anywho. I don't think they're in my future, just like tattoos are not in my future. Oh, um, that's just what you think, because I have a plan for a podcast conference. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure I want to hear this. <laughs> I don't really have one yet, but I will make one. Okay. Uh, now that I see your reaction, I will definitely come up with a plan. And Just it's involve, probably going to involve tattoo artists. Tequila and tattoos. Oh, my no God. Tequi no, you don't want to be drunk. You bleed more. Hmm. Seriously? True. Thins your blood. And you bleed more. Then it's messy and it's hard for the tattooist. Mm. Yeah. I can make it really easy on the tattooist by... <laughs> like not getting one. <laughs> I don't know. My my daughter got her first tattoo. She's nineteen, uh, or she's about to turn nineteen, I should say. Uh, but um, <laughs> yeah, and which is fine. Hey, cool, whatever. It's your I, body. Um, I not have my thing. Two and a mm -hmm. half. One is mm -hmm. faded so much as to be negligible. That's the half. Um, but it hurt a lot, so I give it credit. And I'm mm -hmm. thinking about a third. I've been. I'm jonesing for one, but I haven't quite decided what I want. It is not the BS logo, FYI. Okay. Um, good. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Mm -mm. Um, no. Because <laughs> when you, we're indicted, I'm going to want to pretend like I don't know That's any right. of you. 
It was, it was, they, they, they kidnapped me, put me in tent, gave me a microphone. I had to do said, show. make funny noises. I said, okay, fine, that's okay. what I do. <laughs> but I will tell you the story of my very first tattoo because it bears telling. It's a not bad one. I mm-hmm. was in North Carolina at the time, um, mm-hmm. and my bestest, bestest friend, F. Douglas Fuller, Doug, to me, yeah. um, was... Not, is he the guy who you threw the... Uh, rubber balls out of the window. With, no, that was uh, another no. good friend. That was Alan, whose name I okay. can't remember. Right. Um, because nope. it's been a Didn't long mean time. to throw you off track, but anyway. No, it's yes. fine. I, mm-hmm. it, it's hard. To, there are some players. Mm-hmm. But no, Doug and I went to get tattoos together. Both of us. It was our first one. Mm-hmm. Um, and Doug, at the time, was very gay, um, living with his partner, Michael, of I don't know how many years, but long enough for like two cats to die. So mm-hmm. like a mm-hmm. long time. Yeah. Um, and I was me. And, and blonde and beep, 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 and 23, 24, something like that. Mm-hmm. And so Barbie and Ken go to get tattooed in Fayetteville, North Carolina, right outside the Army base. That's Good where times. the Greyhound bus stops on its way down to Florida. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. And neither one of us cried, although I came close and Doug looked a little weepy eyed. And then afterwards, for weeks, if you stood still long enough and talked to us, one of one or the other would go, we got tattoos, want to see? And Doug would rip off his shirt and show his tattoo, and mm. I would drop trow and, oh, dear. Sh- and show mine. <laughs> yes, um, it was very exciting, and I did get more tattoo work done with Doug because it's kind of a rule. So what, what are they tattoos of? Um, the first one was an orchid, just, you know, wall mm-hmm. flash art, just picked it out because I like it. Um, yeah. And then I added some runes to, um, because I, because I put a spell on me. <laughs> okay. Um, and then the, there was a, a lizard on my foot, mm-hmm. um, done on the top of my foot, which hurt like fuck, yeah. um, and done in a light brown to look like a henna tattoo, which it did until it faded, you know, a year later. Right. Um, and then the one on my wrist, which is an oral oh, yeah. um, Okay. You know, because it reminds me that things come around, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For the snake with his tail in his mouth, it's a very good day. He has a meal. It's also <laughs> a very bad day because he is the meal. So, you know, it's just perspective. That's a, I got it after Hurricane a, Ike, my 13th yeah. or 14th hurricane. I should really track all this information down. I don't know if I'm underselling or overselling. <laughs> God, that was going to remind me of a story, and I can't remember what it was. <laughs> it do with North Carolina. No, not, not with tattoos. Not with North Carolina? You really no. don't want to hang out in Fort Bragg. I'm just saying. Yeah. That, that's already up my list of places not to go. Oh, oh Doug know. is now married to a woman, just and they kidding. have a beautiful daughter. Uh-huh. Clara. I like Clara. Clara. Uh-huh. Um, and... A couple years ago, my phone rang, and it was Doug, and I said, oh, hey, Doug, I was just thinking about you. And he said, oh, that's funny. That's why I called. Your name came up, too. And I said, really? Where? And he said, therapy. And I went, Doug. (laughs) (laughs) Just what you wanted to hear. I know. I'm like, well, good. You're going to get enough of that from the Purple Avenger. (laughs) Yeah. That's the only time anyone's ever done that to me. But it's all well and good. I okay. mean, I was I was a pivotal point for a new world of exp- a different world of experiences. I Okay. Yes, I know. Well, and well. we never even ran off to Canada on a motorcycle like we were talking about doing. <laughs> so I'm not even sure. But whatever. Bye Nora. Yep, she just she just arrived home. There you go. Oh, hi Nora. We're we're taking the bonus. <laughs> Congratulations on your almost um graduation. She says, congratulations. She can't hear you. Uh, no. Congratulations on your almost graduation, because we talked about that, too. <laughs> All right, and the dogs? The dogs are being surprisingly quiet. Okay. They know who it is, Dale. <laughs> I know, but that doesn't stop them normally. <laughs> Jumping up <laughs> and know. down. And, like, you know, <gasps> it's the same person. <gasps> I read yeah. a cute little book years ago. Mm-hmm. But it was from the perspective of the Golden Retriever. Right. And it was, the title was, oh, I thought you were dead. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what the dog thought every time he came home. <laughs> right. That's very funny. Yeah. Oh, you're back. You're not dead. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Object permanence. What a concept. What? Yep. 
<laughs> Goodness gracious. So um, let's see what's what's happening here in the world. Um, oh, well, we can talk about, we have a potential really cool guest coming up, one of my very favorite authors. I'm not going to say his name so as yeah. not to jinx it. Yeah. But, oh, he's a lamb. Yeah, that's right. He's no fool. No, 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 not no, at all. No. He's no. no lust lizard of melancholy cove. Nope. Did you know that's in the early catalog? <laughs> you know, I, I don't think I'm familiar with that title, but it uh, doesn't surprise me somehow. And, and he doesn't suck. No. That's, <laughs> no. That, uh, yeah. Yes. But we'll Lots see. Lots of fun. Lots of we'll fun. We'll see. Yeah, I actually heard of this esteemed author uh, at a mm -hmm. voiceover conference, uh, strangely really? enough. Yeah, from a, an audiobook narrator. Uh, it was at Fafcon, yeah. It was uh, Greg Tremblay, who's, who's done... Uh all kinds of other narration. He hasn't done any of this author's, but he said this was his favorite. He's yeah, I think oh, Johnny Heller this. does him. You got to hear that. Uh, I think I it's did. Heller. <laughs> but um, I put uh, an excerpt from one of his books on my first audio book demo. Ah, that's a good idea. I, yeah, I, I did that with some of my favorites too, for mm -hmm. sure. But um, And if I were to do one today, I would probably have an excerpt of his stuff too because the, the dialogue is so good. If I were to... To do one today, it would be because someone was holding a gun to my head and forcing me. Although, <laughs> I am in production on an audiobook right now. Really? Yeah, it's the series. How, how did that happen? Oh, it's a series. Okay. Yes, and I love the author, and it's first person memoir, and she and I could share a brain, so really, there's no acting. It's not right. You know, I just. And she says things, she writes things like, I get the chance to call Mitch McConnell a lying fuck weasel. You know, that you can do that for free, I think. Uh, I but, know, and but, I'm but virtually doing do this it. for free. Um, <laughs> okay, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> that's okay, because now I have an intern. See how mm -hmm. it all works out? Yeah. Yes, I find audiobooks are not nearly as horrifying if I don't even have to consider editing them. <laughs> well, good point, yeah. And I, I had to, I, I've done a couple, and they were both uh, nonfiction. One was in Spanish, and I thought I had an editor lined up. And they said... Um, wait wait no no i thought you were asking do i know a couple of phrases in spanish i'm like no i mean do you know spanish so that you can edit it oh no 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 oh, so no. <laughs> i had to do it myself and that was not fun no. um i got very good at editing i gotta say because it was a it was a, um i want to say 22 hours <clears throat> oh god that's yeah. a tome it was. It was crazy. So uh, yeah. I was really good at editing by the end of that. <laughs> the other one was in ah. English, and somebody else edited that, thank God. So. Yeah, I, that's the, uh, I correct myself. You don't have to threaten my life um, to get me to do an <laughs> audio book. Mm -hmm. But you have to just, all you have to, all you're going to get <laughs> mm -hmm. is I'm going to walk in the box, and I'm going to read, and then I'm going to go home. And that's all I want to know about it. Yeah. I don't want to do anything else. I won't even listen to it when it's finished. Just don't, just... <laughs> because for every good solid hour of audiobook finished in my world there's at least five to six hours behind it yeah that's a lot that's a lot yeah that's you know, and I mean there are people who can do it a lot faster and a lot better and so you should call them <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah yeah for unless you you're Ellen Garrison of Trailer Dogs the yeah. series keep an ear out for Trailer Dogs 3 coming up excellent yeah, for for you for you kids out there um, thinking about getting into audiobook narration, it's hey, go for it if you are a book lover, if you are not at all claustrophobic, uh, <laughs> because you don't mind spending you know six to eight hours a day <laughs> in a, a padded room. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you if you can deal with that, uh, if you can deal with the fact that it's not going to be a quick you know commercial mm -hmm. read where like literally doing the session takes less time than doing the the paperwork sometimes. Um, it's like, you know, you're going to be in there for the long haul and you've got to maintain that same energy the whole I mean, time. It's but, an awesome training ground yeah. for, for good storytelling. Oh, yeah. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. And the thing is you want to, what, uh, Lisa was saying is, is so true that it's the ratio of actual time versus finished time. You mm -hmm. want to get that to like two times or maybe three times the finished You can't time. do any better than two at all yeah, because no, you've got to listen no. to the damn thing again yeah, to QC yeah. it. Right. So, you know, 
Yeah, but you can yeah. and you can farm out different bits of, of that and proofing and all that stuff. And there's all kinds of techniques, so, but so that you don't go totally insane or, and find out that you're working for like 15 cents per minute, yes. really. But do know that when you farm out all of that star stuff, you are edging closer to working for 15 cents. Indeed, because, because... you're cutting into your cutting into your profits right. there. Yeah, oh, but, well. but that, you're not going to walk in the into the audiobook world like Scott Brick and just be able to walk into the booth and then leave or Johnny Heller or yeah. any of those other guys. So <laughs> suck it up, buttercup. You're going to have to Scott, spend Scott, some time. Scott Brick uh, told a story once about being uh, so bored by the book he was narrating. He was in a studio and <laughs> he was narrating and narrating and then the producer was like, uh, Scott, are you still there? Uh, you, you know, and he had fallen asleep while he was narrating. His like his, there had been like a little bump when his head had hit the microphone. Oh God! Was, oh, no. Put himself to sleep. That's Put crazy. To, it's like yeah, somehow. Uh, but I, uh, I would have thought Scott Brick would have kept talking anyway. That that wouldn't. He have might have. Him. You don't but, know how long he did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. Yeah. There. I don't know. I for those who like doing them. Huzzah. More power to you. Yeah. <laughs> and I listened to a ton of them, so yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's hard. Uh, I learned, um, always read the book first. That's important. Um, unless it's a series and you're on book three and you know what, you're, you're okay there. Yeah. Um, but uh, <clears throat> the, the way I learned that lesson, despite having heard it from many people over the years, mm -hmm. was um, when I rolled up on the end of the chapter of the book I had not read until I was reading it. Um, and the last lines were, oh no, but I don't speak French. And I thought, <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> I bet when I turn this page, I'm gonna be speaking French. <laughs> yeah, <that's right>. so... <laughs> yeah there, somebody yeah. at a, I was like APAC, one of the conferences was saying that, that, yeah, they didn't used to read the books. And then there was that one with the penultimate chapters where the, for the first time they say, so he said in his thick Welsh accent or something, you know, and he's like, oh, shit. Ah, fuck, ah. And, and he, actually, he actually contacted the author and said, uh, here's the situation. And he's like, oh, yeah, no, I, don't, I don't even know why I put that I in the book. Just, 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 just leave that out. Yes. You know why I put that in the book? I'll tell you why you put that in the book. <laughs> Authors put that sort of shit in the book when they can't think of any other way to define their character. <laughs> It is lazy, yeah. and it is Stere not... Stereotyping and, yeah, yeah, telegraphing. Yes. No, right. it's lazy. <laughs> I, my first series was, um, I may have mentioned this, it was a, a witchy, mystical kind of thing, and um, centered, yes, gods, goddesses, underworld, etc., etc., mm. love triangles, some bodice ripping of the light variety, <laughs> and um, groups of six people mm -hmm. of all ethnicities working together <laughs> and talking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so and I'd be doing six people at mm -hmm. one time in different accents <laughs> oh, God. in conversation yeah, it's like Jim Dale who does the who did the Harry Potter books um, oh. um, he would have his iPod with little tracks of char you know, characters who might disappear for 200 pages he'd have a little like sound bite he could just pull up ahead a playlist of, mm -hmm. okay oh that's what dobby sounds like okay cool back to dobby you know that's that's exactly what i did and yeah. do is i make a the first time i do the voice for the character mm -hmm. uh during that edit process i cut out a snip of dialogue and save it so i can go back and go why did what did i think they sounded like yeah yeah <laughs> Which also helps with the series. <laughs> yeah, although it's funny, um, Roy Dutrice, who did the uh, the Game of Thrones, the you know, S Song of Ice and Fire books uh, that Game of Thrones is based on, um, was wonderful, and he did all kinds of voices. But you know, there were like gaps between each book, and at one point, I think for the fourth book, he wasn't available, and they brought somebody else in, and everybody complained, "Oh, bring back Roy Dutrice." And mm -hmm. Then he did the fifth one, but he'd like it had been like you know twelve years since the last one he'd done, <laughs> and he didn't bother uh, either didn't have the budget to do the research or whatever, but he didn't bother to go back and like so like 
name pronunciations were different. You know, certainly the voices Ooh. were completely different. You know, Daenerys yeah. sounds like an old crone, and you know, went from Caitlyn to Catelyn and Je- no, Joffrey no, to no, Jeffrey no, 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 and no, things like that. No, yeah, yeah, no. which is a shame because otherwise it was fantastic. But fans it was of like, the book will not. Yeah. Though, it was science tough. fiction and high fantasy fans, you're really yeah. picky. Yeah. Picky, picky. But uh, I mean, he's he's brilliant actor. In fact, he was in the series playing the uh, the pyromancer with the with the wildfire. Oh, cool! Um, great character actor, but uh, who since passed away. But uh, so he doesn't know we're talking smack. He Good. doesn't All know right. we're talking smack. Yeah. No, I mean, ter- amazing job, but oh, mm. geez, you know. But they do care. They do yeah, care. They do the care. listener cares. Yeah. So. Yeah. Mm. So anyway. But yeah, I'm glad I'm not doing them anymore, except for this one that I like doing because I'm not doing all the hard stuff. That's, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Dale's like, what? I'm checking my email. Are we done talking about audiobooks? <laughs> yeah, right. Yes. Yes, we are. Okay. Very good. <laughs> so, um, Oof. what exciting stuff oh, is coming up Oh, did you see Jacob Wall? Yes. Who is oh, yes. <laughs> trying to old, set up? He's a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> yes, he's, he's an a, asshole. He's an asshole. Um, yes, he is. Who is uh, tried to set up Pete Buttigieg? Yeah, yeah. That was. Um, I mean, what? He's and he tried to do the same thing with Robert Mueller of all people, um, which he's currently under investigation for. I think. Yes, and um, perhaps they'll add this to the list because really, I mean, I mean. <laughs> And he sets up these fake, fake companies and the dead giveaways that it says intelligence, which, uh, you know, so you heart, know. Heart, 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 <laughs> I just don't want, I, I, I don't know that Pete is going to be the guy for the distance on this one, yeah. but I do like him so yes. much and I am in love with his husband. His husband's awesome. Yes. 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 Hoping to meet them both uh, in June, actually, at a uh, Democratic Party thing in Virginia here. Uh, You're so a Democrat? We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm in a purple district. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, so they're coming, he's speaking, and if at all possible, I will try to get a BS de Resistance CD to Chastin Buttigieg, because he's, mm-hmm. he's the theater theater professor. He, yes. you know, he's, he's super into musicals. Awesome. And, uh, he's I love super him. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I love him very much, and I want him to be my best friend. Are you listening? <laughs> and and you're welcome on the show. I will I will extend, hopefully, a personal invitation to him and, and to Pete if he wants to come on. Yeah, I suppose Pete help. could come. Yeah, Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. Love to have them both. That would be a coup, wouldn't it? That would be. I mean, he is, at this point, not really saying no to anybody. That's uh, true. He media. said yes to Fox. So Yeah, all right. So how, you know, what the hell? I'll, I know. I'll, Can't you know. hurt to ask. Email it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and if you're remotely interesting out there, listener, I mean, we can make you sound more interesting. But if you're remotely interesting, you let us know. Yeah. And we'll we'll think about talking to you. Yeah. You can talk about your tattoos. You can talk about whatever else is going on in your life. Yeah. Uh, new True book, that. movie, etc. TV show. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah. Plug your new album. And no pro wrestlers. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Not because I dislike pro wrestling, because I don't, but because of an unfortunate experience at the North Carolina State Fair with a pro wrestler and a microphone. And I've learned, I vowed never to do that again. It, it, are you allowed to tell the story on oh, <laughs> sure. I mean, what happened? I was just board hopping. I was running the board, and we had a part-timer out at the fair, far, um, and I went to her for a live break, and she's like, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and I found obscure wrestler man walking around and here he is and she gave him the mic and five <laughs> minutes later i'm banging my head on the booth and crying um <laughs> did he more or less swallow it was he like yelling it they just the kept i wouldn't he just, she didn't try to get it back she he just <laughs> took it and then did wrestle guy talk you know <laughs> uh, i'm like i don't know what to do it's a weekend. I'm alone. Do I do I fake that we're having some sort? Did the tower explode it or something? What do I do? So I had to wait it out while crying, and then I put on a really long song to cry some more and call the PD because I was stuck. The program director, not police department. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, He's I like, next time, have a signal interference. I'm like, all right, you got it. But right. oh, we've lost we've lost Jody there. Yeah, okay, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Oh, my. They send her to the fair. She does that. They send me out. I wind up in a dunking booth. So it's just, you know, <laughs> radio. 
Yeah, I think there's. I think it's still around in some places. Radio. <laughs> I mean, it's like if it's not all robots, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy how automation. You know, it's. No, oh, I know. I was never in radio. I mean, I've been obviously on the radio, but not not <clears throat> never worked uh, the DJ as a lot of our colleagues have, including you. Yeah. Um, um. Yeah, I've worked as a receptionist, a promotions person, a DJ, a morning show news chick and side chick. Um, <laughs> did I've done every day part except yeah. overnights? No, I did do overnights once. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, shout out to our, our friend uh, Rhonda Phillips, who uh, uh, worked, worked with before. Who um, she used to do a morning radio show, a highly rated morning radio show in denver i'm not trying to think where it was but anyway uh and it was that kind of morning zoo-ish kind of thing you know a lot mm -hmm. of banter and then she would occasionally go out and or, or arrange to do the prank calls or pre so i think she pre-recorded some of the some of the angry listener calls and so on you know various voices just to stir up trouble mm -hmm. <laughs> which is probably standard practice i would imagine i cannot say or reveal on pain of death <laughs> okay but i might have heard of that before Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Now we have the awkward pause while we think of a segue. Mm -hmm. What do you got? Anything rolling well, around in that head? And now it's uh, you know it's we're very happy with with the last episode. Um, uh, race to the bottom. Um, and um, Desiree was amazing. Yes. So Desiree Roots, who is a chanteuse in the Richmond uh, area. Uh, professional a, diva. Yeah, professional diva. And uh, I was in a show uh, with her, uh, Desa Rose, back in 2012, with some of the best uh, musical theater talent in, in Richmond, which is actually pretty considerable. Um, and it was very cool that she agreed to be Maxine for us and uh, did a, <laughs> a terrific job. What a voice. Mm -hmm. um, if you're anywhere in there in the Richmond area and anytime soon, she's doing a Ella at 100 um, show, Ella Fitzgerald tribute. And yeah, she's amazing. Amazing. So nice. Thank you. Desiree. I have a diva interaction coming up. I just got that news this morning. Yeah. Yes. I will be a celebrity judge. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> um, for Galveston's Got Talent in June, and I was asked by one of my favorite little drag performers, Miss Carly Devine. Oh, my. So, yes, I, I is, will be judging it, and doing some stand-up, as far as I know. Is it sort of a wide range of acts? As Haven't like a clue. A, okay, okay. Don't intend to know anything until I get there. Cool. Yep. That's excellent. So that's in June? Yes. No, July. Oh, July. See, I should okay. check. It's July, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> And then I've and I'm emceeing a charity event this weekend too. Now I am, I'm big with the gays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why. It can't be my housekeeping or my cooking. Although both are good, just not yeah, up to those it's standards. It's not not up to their standards. No. Right. No, mm. right. In the fashion sense, lacking. Lacking. Okay. Decidedly. Um, right. Could be just Jay. He's cute. Um, and so, there you, go. you know, it's possible. They do dress him from time to time. <laughs> do they? Hand-me-down clothes come over here for him. So my husband, who is a contractor and builds mm. things, right. uh, has like 50 dress shirts that he won't part with. They're all, and they're all glorious and oh, I bet. hardly used and wonderful designers and all of that. And we're just like, yeah. that's That's terrific. I wear but them no, on the beach. But no, like, frilly stuff or no... Occasionally, okay. some things okay. have come through, Robert, that we just knew. <laughs> there was that one time, Robert, it wasn't Robert so much as it was Tim, mm -hmm. um, because he's the evil one. Uh, they, there was a clothing drive at the place that Jay used to work at, the reason we moved to Galveston, that place, where he okay. had a career, he thought, going on. Um, mm -hmm. And they had a clothing drive. And I said, okay, sure, I'll go through what we have. And, hey, Tim, Robert, you got anything you want to get rid of? Just hand it over and I'll take it into this clothing drive. And they did. They gave me a big bag of stuff, which mm -hmm. I didn't open because I trusted them. Oh, dear. I trusted them. <laughs> so imagine the surprise. 
I felt and that Jay felt at work when I got this call from Jay. <laughs> Honey, do you know anything about the bull panties? I said, what? He said, there is a thong in here that has bull horns and you pull its tail and it has a bell and um, oh I was like, mm, no, I got nothing on that one. Why? Because <laughs> Tim... Tim had thrown that right in there on top, and then when they dumped everything out at the official workplace. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. good times, yeah. Do you know anything yeah. about the bull panties? Hmm, I, actually, I do not. <laughs> yeah. But I bet Tim does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, yeah. And we'll we've been friends with... ever since. <laughs> That's great. That's great. That was oh, what? My. 2003, four, maybe? Five? Somewhere in there. Early years. Mm, long before Purple Avenger. Oh, yeah. But there is Godfathers. Oh, right, right, right. Mm-hmm. This is good. Yeah. Don't tell my mother-in-law, but I'm going to leave the kids to them. <laughs> kid. One kid. Not kids. Mm. I understand that uh, Purple Avenger has uh, recently been honored. <laughs> yes. I'm verklempt because it's so validating for us, the parents who are just winging this shit. Mm -hmm. You know, we're like, oh, score, awesome. Little man, they award citizenship awards to one boy and one girl in each homeroom, and he is the boy in his kindergarten homeroom. Yay. Because he respects others and their property, and he is helpful and kind. <laughs> and he only uses his superpowers for good. Right, and he never hardly ever gets anything other than a pink smiley at the end of the day. <laughs> These pink smileys are going to fucking haunt me. Because they give him a smiley at the end of the day. Right. You know, a little chart. Um, and we told Jay, pink is the best. <laughs> and then there's purple and blue and green and then, you know, ugly orange, yellow, red. Those are bad. Um, we told Jake's first month, he came home with straight pinks. We thought, oh, that's awesome. Who knew? Mm -hmm. I guess that's normal. Well, right. we award you for getting a full month of pink. A medium-sized Lego set. Congratulations. Costing me a fortune in Legos. Wow. Uh, and, but that's what he always does. Apparently, the, the other kids were mm -hmm. like, I try so hard and I can't get past green. Jake gets pink every day. I want to get pink every day. <laughs> They're going to hate him. But he is solid. He got He's going to have to get used to that, I think. He got a blue one once. Mm -hmm. Once. Like, I'm, I'm not even all that sure of the colors because, really, honestly, it's pink. There's yeah. one purple one this month, and I can tell you how that happened. But first, the blue one. He got the blue one because mm -hmm. there was a substitute. And when I picked him up, oh. I said, how was your day? Did you get a pink smiley? And he said, no, I got a blue. And I said, what happened? He goes, Mommy. There was a misunderstanding. <laughs> I said, what? That, which happened to be, coincidentally, was the substitute's name, misunderstanding. She got them all yeah. wrong, apparently. Okay. Yeah. And he's like, we had a substitute, and sh she didn't understand. I get pink. <laughs> I, right. I said, well, we all right then. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna, all right, I'll let that fly. There was a misunderstanding. I love it. That's great. And the purple one this month came because at lunch... Mm -hmm. They told everybody to be quiet, and he was trying to be quiet and get everyone else to be quiet, too, by going, shh, shh, and he just, and this is what he says. And then I went, ah! and I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> I All right. think he got that one from you, I think. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay. Trump That's goes right. on TV, and it's like, ah! Um, right. yeah. He still gets a, he'll get a small Lego box if he has purples in there. That's okay. But Wow. But, but they're not like Harry, Harry Potter Legos or anything. No. Truly. Uh, he, the kid, I mean, who knew? I, we, we seriously thought it was normal. And then I hear all these other parents. They're like, our rule <laughs> is everybody has a yellow day. I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Don't talk about his pink smileys. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. So, yeah. On the, you know, he has the citizenship inside. and pink smileys, except for when he just lost it in the lunchroom and accidentally screamed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, he was like, well, 
You can't hide that. <laughs> so he's in kindergarten. They don't talk about like current events or anything in class or anything. No, really. I don't think yeah. so. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and it's Texas, so there's a chance yeah. that he knows who Donald Trump is, and he knows that he's an asshole. Well, it's sort of the basics, yes. Yeah, I know. This is not normal. Right. And, you know, and it's not true that, you know, women and doctors routinely decide to kill their babies. You know, it's, what you know. The... <sighs> and yeah. New York Times, shame on you. Repeat, yeah, they... re- repeated uh, a misleading refrain or something to that effect. Yeah, as it a... was really like Namby Pamby. And it's like, really? No, he's, he, incite, he, he, he issued incitement to violence and murder. Correct. Um, that's all know. That's all you can call it. I mean, it's... It's horrifying. It's horrifying, indeed. And it's so. just going to keep getting worse. Oh, my God. You're going to have to drag this guy out of there. <sighs> yep. I mean, yep. we're secure in having something to make fun of, but... Oh, yeah. I would trade that. Yeah. I and, mean, well, because we could make fun of other stuff. I know. Oh, we can. There's definitely. It doesn't have to be who's <laughs> ever in the White House. Although, yeah. I mean, I, I, I don't know if we could have. Uh, we, you know what? We could have started the show during the Obama administration. It just would have been a lot different focus. Calmer. I mean, nicer. <laughs> well, maybe not because. I don't know. Same I villains. Mean, yeah. I mean, McConnell's there and so on. So, like, yeah. Um, I was just hoping Trump. I was like really looking forward to not ever having to hear his voice again <laughs> by about Labor Day of 2016. I was like, you know what's going to be great is we're not going to have to hear him. He's going to disappear after November, right? And then I was yeah, like, no. oh, shit. He, he didn't. Um, but, he, he, oh, well. But we'll try to make, we'll just, you know, defer know. that. It's fine. It's <laughs> fine. <sighs> to tears again. I'm going to miss Rick, Rick Perry. Yeah, yeah. Well, you never know. It could be like Game of Thrones where nobody's really gone. <laughs> I didn't left-handed stab him in the chest or anything. Or no, face. No, no. He, no, he just was having trouble with his, his smart glasses. And yeah, it was it was pretty poignant. I, and, and Chris, who's done a, such an amazing job playing both smart and dumb Rick, <laughs> sometimes in the same sentence, uh, yeah. was uh, confessed that he got a little misty-eyed, I think, with that. You know, listening to that, where it's like, oh, it's the end of Rick. Mm. But it's, he may be back, guys. Don't, don't. Probably. Don't, and yeah. there's always Yevgeny. That's right. The gay Russian uh, Muppet. Russian Elmo. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, <laughs> that's all we need to satisfy Karen in every in a given episode. Mm-hmm. Just have some some yep. Russian Elmo dialogue, and she's she's mm-hmm. happy. Uh, I I appreciate a good Abdul Uyulate at, <laughs> yes. at any moment. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then we'll find some other way to to humiliate you on the show too. Uh, p- <laughs> Besides, Rick, you're not you're not going to fall for Trump. I'll, I'll I'll promise you that. Thank you, because I <laughs> believe I would edit, exercise some editorial opinion on that yes. one. And speaking of which, uh, the the women's basketball the ba- the Baylor basketball team did you see Meme those pictures central. <laughs> keep your hands funny. where he likes to grab ladies right. and everyone the expression was just was just so i am classic, i am like. an angry woman and i am done with you sir mm-hmm. and mcdonald's again again He's... that was during the uh, the furlough was the excuse before now it's like okay I, there is a functioning white house kitchen I used to know with, the, the, the chef uh, way back in when I was a kid. Weeping, weeping gently into their aprons as they have to put McDonald's sauce packets in yeah. the sterling silver that was used by George Washington. Yes, <laughs> I know. It's like, oh, I mean, dear. I yeah. mean, as a Southerner by birth, I'm just... That's right, yeah. Good Lord. Yeah, you you don't you don't wear one after Labor Day, and you don't serve fast food on silver platters. You don't serve fast food ever, much ever, less yeah. on silver platters. You can do yeah. it in a basket if you're outside and you're desperate, but Mm-mm-mm. but you need real linens. Yeah. Mm. God. I'm out. I need to polish my silver. That's not a euphemism. I really do need to polish my silver. <laughs> I was gonna think of something for that, but never mind. I know. It's actually very zen and meditative. And then for the first hour, then after yeah. that, you're like, oh, my God, why? Sure. <laughs> yeah, right. That's the way things like gardening or, or 
I don't know, things that a lot of people find very calming and soothing. And it's like, I, I sort of get it for about 15 minutes. Yeah. Mm. Then it's I've like, been gardening. Jake and yeah. I have planted a veggie garden in the backyard and some flowers. Very so, good. Yes, you we're going a, you, to have beans, watermelon, and carrots and you cucumbers. You'll get a pink smiley for that. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, And anyway. sunflowers. We'll have those. Good, 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 good. So, guys, um, we are anxiously waiting to find out what's going to happen in episode 19 because we haven't written about it yet. <laughs> I think I had like two ideas so yeah, far. I don't even have those. Um, and um, they involve cats, but uh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> l- mm. Yes, I do like Miss Eartha Kitty. That's fun. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I'm having a great time with Eartha Kitty. Yeah, we're trying to like increase the number of feline references all, all leading up to our all singing episode once more with felines. Uh, but because we'll Dale will go that far for a joke. I will. I will. It's it's playing mm-hmm. the long game there. Mm-hmm. And we're going to have more. I mean, maybe we'll, let's get Karen's cat, the little shit. And then I've got three cats. We'll, we'll get them all on the show somehow. We've had Fido. Fido, yes. The great shitter. Right. <laughs> right. We also have kitty. Bruce, but Bruce hasn't come back inside in a year and a half, two years. He's like, he's like, oh, thank great, you. No. Great Pyrenees, great Pyrenees. Yeah. Velociraptor, fuck this. Yeah, <laughs> I'm out done. Of here. Yeah. So Bruce is in the yard, in the garden, up front, in the rocks, lying there. Cool. Well, if you've stuck uh, with us this far, and I don't please, know why uh, you would have, but if you did, <laughs> and you're probably like in the car, trying, desperately trying to change. Uh, the input source. But you got to focus on the road, man. You can't just yeah. lean over and look at the buttons. Yeah. Pay attention to the road. But once you can actually safely put your hands on your device, whatever that like is. Like at a gas station or a public rest yeah. area. Do do give us a little uh, review on uh, iTunes or wherever it is that, you, that you're you downloading this from, and we'd really appreciate it. Uh, unless look, this unless particular episode has made your teeth itch and you want us <laughs> to die and go away. In That's that right. case, let's not say that. All right? <laughs> okay. Okay. And as always, you could leave a, a verbal comment on. Oh, we still have that. We still have it. I'm still oh. paying for it. The one eight six 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 call BS comment line. One eight Satan. Satan BS call, call, call BS. bullshit. Yeah, that's right. Speaking of Satan, I have a reference. I have a okay. story. It's very yes. quick. We did a joint birthday party for the Purple Avenger this weekend with two friends. Right, he's now six years old. Yes, yeah. he is, because I've, I've been lobbying for this since PK2. Like, can mm-hmm. we just do one of these a quarter, people? Can we just, come on, cooperate? Yeah. We'll do a big one with uh, everybody from that quarter, and it'll cost us less, and we'll only have to go once. No, what's so, fun? So yeah. it was Jake and the And, th- and Ben the and Vivian. No, oh, Vivian, <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Vivian's fierce. It's cool. And we went to this really horribly loud putt-putt golf indoor arcade thing that was lots of lights and flashing and shrieking. Mm. And I had got a migraine and almost a panic attack and had to go lay down in the car. But um, wow. partly because they put 30 kids in a cinder block room all at one time and then made mm. them scream. Jay had a decimal meter out on his phone. He was like, oh. oh. Sort of jumbo jet territory. All of the parents had the same expression, just sort of vacant and, and with all the hope drained. Just uh, it's, it's like getting a filling filled at the dentist. It's like, mm-hmm. I will get through this. I will get through this somehow. Yeah, so, uh, but I, 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 OK, so we have cupcakes for the um, children to have instead of birthday cake, because I don't know about you. But when a child blows a candle out that's on the cake that we're all going to eat, I'm not going to eat that cake because I have seen children blow at things. And so the spit cake, I'm not yes. I'm not down with the spit cake. Okay. Thank Fair you. Fair enough. So we have three big cupcakes for the birthday kids and little cupcakes for everybody. And Angie, who's Ben's mom, who is very pregnant, otherwise sensible and, and normal and a doctor even, so smart, she got the candles. And she got three sixes. So we had six, six, six cupcakes sitting right up front. I know. I'm howling because it's awesome. I look I over. a picture. One of the other kids in the class, her dad is a pastor, and he looks at me, looks at the candles, and he's like, huh? And then 
I fell over and started laughing some more. <laughs> so yeah, we we all thought that was awesome. Uh, but Vivian's it, uh, mom made the kids stand behind and throw rock signs for some. Photos, all right. So. Yeah, that's yeah. that's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. I Satan's like that. birthday party, and that's Indeed. fitting if you've ever been in that place. It, it, <laughs> Yeah, it was uh, something only a devil could come up with. Huh? They set the kids free after the hour and a half yellowthon to run mm-hmm. for two hours inside this whole thing of attractions, bumper boats, bumper cars, everything. Oh, wow. I know, it was amazing. Uh, if it weren't so shrill and blinky, it'd mm-hmm. be okay. But yeah, Jake Ouch. disappears. I'm like, where, what? I look over and he's halfway up a rock wall. <laughs> <laughs> no, in a harness, thankfully. Yeah. No parent yeah. anywhere. He had just gone right. over there with his new six-year-old self and said, I'm me. <laughs> well, what was the thing the other morning when you guys, you and Jay woke, wake up and all of a sudden you, you wander downstairs and there he, <laughs> and Jake is there to greet you? <laughs> That's been going on for a little while. Um, and we're in a loop on that, I have to tell you. Because... He's, he's eating his own breakfast. and uh, I mean, Yeah, because... I don't know. Apparently, he woke up at midnight because he had a bad dream and came in bed with us. Mm-hmm. And then I heard him a little bit at about two thirty say the bed is wet, and I said because I had just put clean sheets on that bed that day. Yeah. And, yep. Yep. And I, yep. in my excellent parenting, was like, "Fuck you! Roll over! Just sleep out of it! Mm-hmm. I don't care! I'm going to sleep on this edge now. Thank you, mm-hmm. and I'll deal with it in the morning." Mm-hmm. So at some point, Jay was like, I'm not sleeping in the wet spot. Typical. Uh So he gets up and goes to Jake's room and sleeps in his bed. Jake goes to the floor. I sleep on the wet spot, of course. Uh I get up at five and I stagger down the stairs and all the lights are on. The TV is blaring the Smurfs. (laughs) <laughs> and, and Jake is wrapped in his little uh, Star Wars bathrobe like a little Hugh Hefner. He right. looks up at me and he says, well, hello, lady. <laughs> Takes a handful of Pringles and stuffs them in his mouth. He just, he couldn't go back to bed, apparently, after the wedding thing. So, yeah, uh, he'd been great. up since three and had fed himself. The apple juice was in the bathroom because that's where the stool is. So he could mm-hmm. reach it to pour it in the sink and just, you know. <laughs> Uh, but consequently, because he keeps getting up at three in the morning, then mm-hmm. falls asleep dead out cold, at like five fifteen. Well, no dinner for you, I guess. Yeah. Wow. And, and then, so it's a perpetuating cycle, and I don't know what to do about it. Mm. But I know I'm keep him up tonight. He's got jujitsu tonight, so he'll be exhausted and he'll fall asleep. <laughs> so, <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to feed him a big uh, breakfast and hope for the best. He's a good citizen, this, though. I'm doing that part right. Yep, you are. And getting those purple, I'm sorry, the pink smileys. Don't have a misunderstanding. Yeah, I won't have a misunderstanding. <laughs> <Mm-mm>. <laughs> right, any teacher, regular or substitute. Yeah. <laughs> good stuff. Uh, yeah. Good stuff. All right. Well, so, cool. That's, yeah. Why, why did you ask? You get, I think we're. We were wrapping up and everything, and we definitely were not our welcome. I know. uh, I'm bored. Have fun editing this. Uh, All right, guys. Well, we'll see you in ten days for exciting episode nineteen of Who Knows What. Uh, Yep. (laughs) Exactly. Thanks for sticking with us. We don't. (laughs) Yep. Take care. Bye. Bye.